If you've been waiting for Democrats to turn their backs on House Speaker Mike Madigan in the wake of the sexual harassment scandal, well, you're still waiting. But that's exactly what a group of conservative Republican lawmakers is calling on their opponents to do. CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely has more. These conservative Republicans marched into a loop conference room to promote a politically radical idea that Democrats pull the plug on Mike Madigan. You don't have to have this power hungry um, guy with 20th century ideas about women's place be your leader anymore. Just how entrenched is Madigan? He's the longest serving leader of any legislative body, state or federal, in the history of the United States. House Speaker for all but two years since 1983. It may be a pipe dream, but the idea for the Republicans' call came from Amy Kassab, a Chicago police sergeant running for state rep. It is his responsibility to ensure the government protects the people. However, under his leadership, government has preyed on people. She's talking about women like Sherry Garrett, the State House staffer who last week sparked the firing of Madigan's longtime chief of staff, Tim Mapes, by accusing him of harassment. And Republicans are certain she's not the last. We understand that there are more allegations to come back out from other women afflicted. But U.S. Senator Dick Durbin says he's willing to give Madigan more time after Madigan accepted Durbin's suggestion to have women pick Mapes' successor. I asked him to, to make what I consider to be a significant move to show that he gets it, and he did that. Since it was organized by an ad hoc group of lawmakers, this was not an official call from the Republican Party for Madigan to go. But later, the state GOP did put out a statement saying, yes, they want Madigan out as well. Meantime, Madigan's spokesman issued a terse note that said simply, the speaker will remain in office. By the way, uh, last week we reported that no Democrats had uh, asked for Madigan's resignation. That's incorrect. One did ask for his resignation, Highland Park Representative Scott Drury, and he did it way back in February. Just one, though. Okay. Derek, thanks.